Well, hello there. Michael here. Before we get into this video, before we dive into this adventure that you're about to see, I just wanted to address, address this. The elephant in the room, if you will. You might be asking yourself, what is this cool new hip format that I am seeing before my eyes right now? You might be wondering to yourself, wow, this guy, this guy is a trendsetter. And you're not wrong. I mean, studded belts and chick pants in high school. <laughs> okay, truth is, I don't know, I didn't realize I didn't realize, okay? I don't know, I guess I was in vlogging mode, you know, cause I just do so much vlogging these days. So, I apologize and um, I hope you still enjoy this video. So let's uh, get into it. Hello everyone, um, Michael here. If you are, let me uh, back up here first. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michael. I'm obsessed with houseplants. Thank you for joining me. Today is the day that I revamp, rehabilitate, redo, Fix up, de grossify, de slug. Today is the day that I redo my terrarium. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and the Montana stay at home order has been lifted. It has been lifted. Yes. I'm so excited. Okay, so we, me, I am on my way to the garden barn. I just spoke with Josh, the owner, and he gave me the okay to do some filming in his store. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, we are going to the garden barn to pick up a few things for the terrarium. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, so yes, on our way to the garden barn, we're gonna pick up a few things for my terrarium, and I am super excited. I haven't been there for, of course, about two months, so. Um, it's crazy. Things are starting to get back to normal, and hopefully with people being out and about, the you know what, won't spike again. But I'm gonna still take some precautions. And by the way, it's probably the nicest day that we've had yet to, uh, this year. It's beautiful out, it's warm. I'm actually really hot right now because I turned the air conditioning down low so it wouldn't be loud. We're gonna turn it up because I'm dying. I also called and asked if they had any horticultural um, horticultural charcoal um, to filter out the water as it doesn't cycle in my terrarium. I'm so excited! And now I know a little bit more about what plants to get. The only plants that survived were my alocasia something. I don't know if it's a phrytic. And then my nerve plant or phytonias. I know those will survive in there, so I might get like a red one and a green one. Um, and we'll see what else is there. Last year, I decided to go out and find some natural moss to put my terrarium. And I found some, found some moss under a bridge. 
plucked a huge chunk of it out and put it on my rock in my terrarium. It looked beautiful. I loved it. And then um, I started noticing some uh, creepy crawlies crawling around in there. And then my terrarium became a slug farm. Literally a slug farm. So I first noticed it on the glass. It was, I saw all these little trails. And at first I was like, well, that's a weird uh, pattern for condensation to drip down the glass. It's quite strange. And then I was like, that is not, no. I saw a slug, and then I saw some more slugs and more slugs, and there was a lot of slugs. And honestly, I've always liked slugs. And so I left them in there even though they eat your plants. So I was kind of fascinated slash horrified at the same time by this thing. Um, but I'm glad I'm gonna clean it out, get some charcoal in there, get some sand in there, get some really pretty plants in there. Hopefully I can find some actual moss at the garden barn that I don't have to pluck from outside and bring in bunch of gross slugs. There were also these weird white worms that looked like parasites. They would like move around like this. Here we are. Oh my gosh. Here we are in the garden barn. Love it here. This is so awkward. I'm gonna just be quiet and film a little bit. Whoa. Massive Peperomia, Obtusifolia, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Add in Sony Eye, my wish list plant. We're here to get terrarium stuff, Michael. We're here to get terrarium stuff. So yeah, as I suspected, it is pretty bare at the moment. But hopefully I can find something. Okay, so yes, it was definitely too awkward for me to record in there. <laughs> um, but I did find three, three little guys. One looks like a philodendron. One looks like a fern and another one. I don't even know what it is, but I think they'll be good. 
And the charcoal they had was like literally in this tiny little container. So that's not gonna work. So we're gonna go check out some more places to see if we can find what I need. Oh my God, the traffic today. So I'm on my way to Home Depot, I guess, see if they have any charcoal and if they have any little terrarium plants. So the garden barn didn't have much today. I also found out that they've been open this whole time. I've been holding out for no reason. The amount of people that are out right now is kind of stressing me out. People are like swarming. Is this what it was like before? <laughs> I miss the days when everyone stayed home. So, Home Depot was a bust, and then I went to Lowe's, it was also a bust, but then I was about to leave and I uh, saw this big cart of a brand new shipment. Oh my god, my seatbelt's not on. I followed this guy with a brand new shipment of plants, so I found a creeping fig. I also found two really pretty begonias. So I'm excited about that. Did not find any charcoal. Now I'm gonna go to the place that I work, which I don't know why I didn't think of that before. My hair is being weird. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of going to the place that I work. Hopefully they have some charcoal. Oh, and I also got some Fetonias. I probably bought way too much for this tiny little terrarium that I have. So that was kind of stressful. <clears throat> it probably doesn't help that I've been drinking coffee all day, I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm gonna take a break, eat some pizza, and uh, probably gonna wait. I'm probably gonna wait because it's, it's stressing me out now to tackle such a big project. But let me show you what I got. All right, so here's the creeping fig. Um, oh my gosh, this freaking gorgeous begonia. Anytime you find a begonia at um, Home Depot or Lowe's or any box store, it's always a Rex begonia, always even though they look really different. Like that begonia and this begonia, completely different. Oh, it's a Rex. So I don't know about what exactly type of begonias they are, but got two of those. Um, got my red Fetonia, my green Fetonia. And then these little guys are the ones I got from the garden barn. We got a fern, cute. This looks like a philodendron, and they said it would be fine in a terrarium. Um, I don't know. She said it was a Prince of Orange, but I'm like, if it was a Prince of Orange, this leaf would be orange. It's not. So, no idea what this is. We'll see how it goes. And this, this, I think is maybe a pilea aluminum plant. I don't know, I don't know. But that's what I got, probably way too much. Um, yeah, can we just get a close up on this begonia? Wow. I had one begonia and it instantly died, so I'm hoping in a terrarium it will survive. And this is one of those spiraling ones.
Cool, 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 cool. And I just realized that I recorded those two last little clips um, vertically. Sorry about that. But here is the uh, horror. Oh my gosh. Ew. Ew. It's gross. So this was the moss that I got, which has now turned yellow after a while. It used to be green and really pretty. And to keep it green, I kept it way too moist and everything died. Here's the phot photonia that survived besides the little holes that the slugs were eating at. And um, this guy has done really good the whole time. This alocasia, not sure. Um, this, woo! This leaf is new and it's growing this huge guy. But yeah, if you can look how gross the glass is. It's from months and months of tra of slugs just trailing around. Ew. Since then, I've put some diatomaceous earth, earth in there, and sadly, it killed the slugs, which is why I put it in there. It kind of made me feel bad, though, because I thought the slugs were kind of cute. Anyways, this is the project. It's daunting but it needs to be done. All right, guys, so like I said, I got a little burnt out at the end there, so I have yet to actually revamp my terrarium. I got my little plants set inside the terrarium, but they're just sitting in their pots. They're doing pretty good, but I still need to redo the whole thing. And I recorded that video so long ago. It's been 84 years. So I am embarrassed by how long it's been. <laughs> uh, but I promise I will get to it someday. So stay tuned for part two of my terrarium revamp. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you hate me, give me a thumbs down. You are rude. Please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more plant shenanigans and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Um, yes, so yeah.